right, so we are here at the 2022 Florida RV Super Show, and right now we are with Gary Conley. He's director of sales for Lance RV, and he's going to show us this particular model, the 2285. <laughs> I did. All right, Gary, take it away. Okay. Well, thanks and welcome to Lance. Um, you know. I'm just going to show you a few of the key features that makes uh, Lance unique, and then I'll show you inside uh, some of the key features that exist on the 2285. First of all, something that's unique to the Lance product is that we have a three propane tanks. Um, this allows you to basically have an extra 20 pound uh, tank, but it also means that, that they're exchangeable, so propane's available to you 24-7. Uh, uh, the spare tank can also be used uh, for additional uh, items that you might have. You also have a low point um, pressure um, adaption, adapter, so that will allow you to basically run a barbecue and everything else off the system. What's unique about our trailers too is that all of this material is made out of TPO, so if you get rocks and things like that, you can see here it's not going <laughs> to dent, ding, or anything. But what's most important, it's a problem with a lot of travel trailers, is that they get rock dings. Uh -huh. So this here is going to protect the lead edge of the chassis so you're not sanding. You can see here how it has dirt that's already there, so you're not having to sand the lead edge of the chassis and have to paint it, it's already protected. Um, you also have uh, recessed um, LED lighting that's inside here, fiberglass uh, nose cap, which is new on the 22 product. You also have a front um, opening window, which is unique to travel trailers, so it gives you one, uh, we call it our stargazer window, so when you're laying in bed, you can actually see the stars, it gives you your privacy, there's a screen, but you can also get ventilation. So if you're kind of claustrophobic or whatnot, if you want a good cross breeze, this window will allow you to do that. As we step on the side here, some unique things is that you have a full pull out, so you're not just having to stand on your head uh, to get items and sit them on the dirt. You can also pull out this table, which can act as a shelf, so if you have a bin, now you're not setting it in the dirt, and you're taking the dirt inside or putting it in your picnic table, you can actually house it right here. This is a removable four foot table that allows you to basically sit on the side. So if you go to a, you're out uh, on a scenic view, you want to stop, have lunch, you set up your table, pull out your chairs, and you don't need to have a campground to do so, so it's Wonderful. all built in for you. There's switches inside here for electric jacks, which basically cover the front and the back of the unit. Um, most of our units come with solar panels. Um, we have a 190 watt panel on the roof. You can put an extra panel on there, which will give you 380 watts, and you can also go with a portable panel. Uh, the beauty about the portable panel um, is that uh, you know if you normally when you camp, you camp near any trees, uh -huh. that's going to limit your charge on the built-in unit. This way, you can assist with a second panel, which is modular, so you can go 100 feet away or whatever. Um, we have brand new doors on our units here. Um, European doors. And what's nice about that, oops, I'm going to be honest in the way. So actually, why don't we, why don't we step forward and I'll show mm -hmm. you. Um, so, right now, um, this here is a puck. So this allows you to take your TV from the inside and you can dismount it. It clips on here. Um, it's weatherproof, so you don't have to worry about it rusting or whatnot. Clips on here. Uh, you have outside. Uh, connections for 110 uh, cable, USB, and 12 volt in that area. Um, we have a, a removable speaker that's Bluetooth, so this allows you to basically have speaker outside or you can put it at your picnic table. This is all standard equipment on our unit. Nice. Again, these windows are, are really great. Um, they're all bulb seal windows, um, which means that you won't have any weep holes, uh -huh. so you don't have any condensation transfer. Most windows in an RV are aluminum frame, yeah. so you're going to get condensation, hot or cold inside, plus with the weed poles you get airflow. So a lot of times you travel down a dirt road, you touch the counters and they're full of dirt, yep. but these windows are completely sealed just like a car door. Nice. Okay. Your awning on the top, um, basically there's no head whackers on the arms, so you don't have to worry about restrictions. This awning, you can put it out two feet, one foot, out up to eight feet. Anyway, it does have a wind sensor, so if it were to blow real hard and would do this, it would go in. For the people that are camping here in Florida, we value the turtles, so that light will not only go to yellow, but it will also go to white. So therefore, nice. you can camp, you can beach camp. You can see here that we have a, a real door, like I was saying on the other side. 
that actually seals. And those are solid doors. Very solid. Yes. It's, um, you know, it's something that, that your shade is built inside of the inside of the door as well. So, if, like on the front door as an example, if you're parked somewhere in Awnings Inn, uh, you get sunlight, or let's say you're you know you're boondock camping in a parking lot, uh, that light. Well, one way you don't have to go outside, remove a screen to get to you know something to close it, step outside. Whereas with this here, your screen has a full door yes. on both sides. So that's what happens on both the front and the back. You can see here we're highlighting um, a torque lift step. Uh, the beauty of that is that it goes to the ground. Um, if you notice, there's a lot of steps that actually fold up into the coach. Mm -hmm. The problem with that is, is a couple things. Where's the dirt go? Inside. Right. Okay. How do you get out in an emergency? Suppose if you pulled into a, a with a big rig or something here, how do you get out? You get so out. this step here gives you the stability of going to the ground. And basically there's three levels where it'll go in or out. So, you know, you have somebody who's maybe has hip problems, knee problems, you can make that step shorter versus um, longer or you can elongate it and the feet also go so if you had if you park next to a curb or whatnot you can basically deal with the curb and still have a, a nice step okay coming out I'm on the back um, you can see there's a ladder a little hard to get to right now but um, it's a real ladder um, so you know a guy my size can go up that ladder without a problem you also see a wireless backup camera on the top one thing that you need to last so get rid we've gotten rid of all of the tapes that are on the outside, so things that aren't friendly to the sun. Uh -huh. There are maintenance items that can cost you a few hundred dollars a year or every couple of years to replace. And we get rid of all the screws. Because every time you put a screw inside of an RV, it's a potential leak. Yep. So we've eliminated that. Nice. Um, on the suspension area there, um, we've gone to um, basically into a leaf spring, but one key feature that, that we did add was that we put shock absorbers um, on the units as well. So those are options. So you so, did move away from the torsion axis? Yes. Okay. Part of that was just because of the supply yeah. of, of chassis. We couldn't get enough supply of chassis. Um, but by adding the shocks and the um, basically the road armor suspension, um, it pretty much handles the way that the torsion does. Okay, cool. You can also flip the axles, so if you wanted to get more lift, yes. more ground clearance, you could do that with it, which is traditional. So we'll step inside. Okay. Right so inside here, um, you can see that we've gone to a solid surface counter now. Um, so basically it's residential quality interior here. You also have a trash can, which is in the back here, or a wine bucket, whichever you prefer. <laughs> um, we've also um, added the microwave rather than having a traditional built-in frame. Uh, we actually built the microwave inside of a cabinet so that way it gives you just a more sleek look. Right. It also gives you an area where as we gain some space for, you know, like foil, um, wrap and whatnot that goes inside there. Mm -hmm. um, you have overhead cabinet here. Um, one thing that, that this does offer is that we offer this either with a sofa that has an incliner um, we can also convert to a bed, or you can get it with two rocking chairs um, as well inside. Okay. Uh, you'll notice the skylight at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, we did put in a new feature, which is a smart TV. Um, so what's nice about that is that you can download and stream um, off of that TV. And you also have the JBL um, sound system that's here. Uh, we do offer also a, a Wi-Fi booster. That's, that, that's available to you so basically if you had like three bars on your phone then it would allow you to get five bars. Um, this here, this dinette is uh, 56 by 78. It's not quite a queen. Um, it is comfortable. Um, so for additional sleep seating. You also have full pull-out drawers underneath the dinette. So again you don't have to stand on your head to get things. It's very convenient for pots, pans, water. Um, as you can see the feature that's on these windows, I'll slide in here. That these windows will open up all the way so if you wanted to pass something through you could so they'll go all the way out lock um, and you basically turn the knob here and that's going to lock it this gives you your screen or you can put it together if you want some privacy still want air you have it that way or you can fully lock out the sun that is one of the biggest features that we love 
Yeah, well, you know, I mean, air, for interior, yeah. Ven ventilation is is really important. Um, a key thing about the Lance product too is the size of the booth. Uh, basically, I'm six foot. I'm not a small person, but you can sit here. You can put your legs up. You can lounge here because a lot of times that if it's a nasty day. Uh, you know, you don't want to sit vertical in a lounge, mm -hmm. whereas with this you can. You can also make this into like a playpen, like an old 70s playpen, whereas if you drop the table, slide the cushions this way, watch the TV, a couple of pillows here, it's very yeah. comfortable. You still have a view um, all the way around on a slide, which is unique to a Lance. Uh, most slide rooms are basically a wall, so you sit here and you look at a pattern on, yep. on, a, on a wall. Yep. That's unique. You also notice at the top there it has a rheostat, so if you're playing cards or whatnot, you can adjust the the light, so you can make it brighter or not. All the lighting inside is all LED, both on the inside and the outside. Key points of a lance also are this: um, when you come in to an item, um, like you have USB charge ports and whatnot. But the big thing is, if you look at most RVs, they don't give you a place to put your stuff, so it's like great to have a USB charge port, but where do you sit your phone? Right. Mm -hmm. Where do you put your tablet? Where do you put your computer? Yeah. Let's say you had a satellite dish and you want to watch satellite TV if that's what you were doing. All the HDMI and hookups are here, and guess what? Everything goes right there. Right. So it's convenient. The same thing happens up in the bedroom area. Um, you have a little bit more storage. Everything that we do, you can see here, like it's not just a shelf, but it has a shelf the lip. Mm -hmm. So it'll try to maintain whatever you put in there to stay in that place. Something that's unique about this model is it does have a full floor to ceiling wardrobe um, in the unit, which is great. Um, one of my pet peeves, or my wife's I should say, is that uh, it's like she wants a broom, okay? And I don't know if you've ever used an RV broom. Every time you use it, the thing just flips around in a circle. Yep. Um, this here, you can use a real broom, you know, a Swifter or whatever it is, and you have a place to put it. Um, the nice thing about our product as well is that where you do have like a wardrobe, mm -hmm. Uh, because of the material, this is all solid plywood, everything is solid wood. If you wanted to shelve it, uh, put in Rubbermaid type things, you can do that. So if you want half folding and half hanging, um, you can basically add that into a lance without a problem. You awesome. don't need us to do that. So it kind of adapts to your lifestyle, mm -hmm. uh, which is which is really important. Does this have levelers? Or? Yes. And it's just one a foot on each corner? Yeah, basically it's stabilizers. Yeah. Yeah, so you have stabilizers that basically there's four of them and that give this stability. Jack them in with the power. No, no, they're all push button electric. <laughs> when you camp with a lance, you camp with your finger. You push this, you push that, you push the awning, it's all electric, you and push a button, so it goes right up. <laughs> <laughs> Some people call it glamping, but you know. <laughs> Doesn't take away from the drinking time. <laughs> um, a nice feature about Whoops, about sorry. about this model is um, and I'll let you step by. Yep is that the sink is outside of the, of the kitchen of, of the bathroom and one of the important things about this is if somebody's taking a shower is that you know you can be blow drying your hair here you know brushing your teeth shaving while somebody is is using the facilities or shower so you're not occupying the total space and a lot of times you know if you're out camping you need to wash your hands and whatnot it just boom right into this door and away you go um, every model that we build uh, with the exception of one one of our smaller models you can get to the bathroom and shower and everything. That's why you have two doors. So if the slide is in, you still can get by, but if you don't want to have an, uh, a situation where I have to squish by and whatnot, mm -hmm. you just pop this door into the bathroom and shower. You can also get to the bedroom if you want to just camp without deploying uh, the slide in. You'll notice how airy the front is. Absolutely, it is marvelous. Yes, um, and so you can see the cubbies have charge ports, but again, a shelf to put everything. Uh, we did add the second drawers that are there. Um, a new feature too is that we added um, ducts now for the air conditioning. Oh. So the whole, the, all the air conditioning is all ducted. Nice. But this is a key feature in a Lance. Um, this is an option. Oops. Basically it's a battery meter. Um, so many times people ask, well how long can I camp? This is actually going to take and it's going to register how many amps you have. And it's going to look at your usage. So like right now, let's say we had one amp. Uh -huh. And if we had two lithium 100 amp batteries, which is true 100 amp, uh -huh. means we have 200 amps, it's going to tell you basically you can camp 200 hours, okay? Right. More or less eight days, okay, using one amp 
for that period of time before you run out of power. Nice. But if you have the solar going in, it's going to take exactly whatever you um, whatever you can put into lithium. Um, it'll basically take. It's kind of like your your cell phone. Um, that's the way lithium works. It just it goes all the way till there's nothing, and then it stops. Whereas with a 12 volt or a lead acid yeah. battery, it's percentages, and when yeah. you hurt to sit for a certain point you have nothing right um, so those are all features that are available um, directly from Lance and um, you know our roofs are still full walk-on um, you have remote control uh, fantastic fans as well uh, the beauty about this model too is that you can open up the rear window pull the air right out or through if you want it leave that front window vented and it'll go one other key thing about these windows uh, from a security standpoint which I'll show you a little trick of the trade is that from a security standpoint, most RVs, if you have the window open, um, basically to slide the window open, it's gone. Right. This here, if you see this little area here, you can actually lock the window so the window doesn't vibrate and you still have ventilation. Nice. So you pull it in, it's fully sealed. Like now, so if you're camping in the colder climates, um, you're not going to basically get a bunch of condensation inside because you can ventilate safely uh -huh. um, securely um, right here so it's a it's a really good feature also too is that in storage sometimes you don't want to lock it depends on where you are in the country um, if you're worried about mold mildew etc right. you can ventilate a unit without a problem I mean you are going to potentially attract things to come in but it depends on your situation but the nice thing is is that it, if you're a single person you're worried about not being secure for the lance you're always secure so that's our product. Um, there's a lot of other features and what I would suggest is that if you're interested in our product, go to www.lancecamper.com. I'm Gary Conley from Lance Camper Manufacturing, Director of Sales. It's been a pleasure talking with you and I hope you enjoyed the little tour. Awesome. Thank you very much, Gary. You're welcome.